Doing about I mean, I just relax a little bit, try to get my mind right, uh, refresh for the second half of the season. Um, about to start getting into championship phase, so you know that's a whole different mindset right there that you got to have each and every week. Um, just trying to refocus and um, gain. I mean, you know, like been, having this be my third year, I know like between these couple of weeks right here is what you know it's started to get relaxed or whatever. But you got to keep the attitude of going to get it each and every day. Uh, I mean, I played them two times before. Uh, I won't say it's that uh, extremely special like that. I mean, um, it's always good to I mean play a team around your area. You got a lot of family coming and things like that. But um, honestly, I'm just ready to get after it. Uh, it's hard sitting out a week after you've been going for six weeks, and um, I didn't like the break, so uh, I'm ready to just go and play some more football. Is there bad blood between these two teams? I don't know. Um, as a player, you, as a player, like, it's kind of this perspective of like, I mean, you don't like whoever you play against that week. So, but I, I don't know how the fans or in, like, other coaches or teams feel about us or whatever. So, I mean, but as a player, you gotta have the mindset like, I, I don't like you. Like, you come, in, we come into your place or you come to our place to make to give to ruin our season kind of deal. So, I mean, I guess that's what I call bad blood. Um, uh, any week. Mm -hmm. It seems like these things don't happen against other teams. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure uh, my guy was pulling other people's towels too, but I mean, it's just more publicized. Uh, he did a little more often, I guess, against Kelly, but uh, I mean, I don't know. You just It's just kind of a mind game thing that uh, you want to get into the other guy's mind. I mean, that's probably why he was pulling the towels. Oh yeah, we definitely would love to accept that challenge right there. Uh, I mean, that's kind of what the coaches have been saying. Like they're very efficient offense. Uh, third down, they got a high percentage of converting. So, um, and as a defense, we take that as a challenge. Uh, we kind of have the mindset throughout practice, like getting off the field kind of deal. Like um, having us like every third down, every time you hear third or something, we our mindset kind of changes and try to um, get off the field. Coach Sweeney said uh, earlier that. Mm -hmm. you remember it to see it? Um, watching film, definitely. Yeah, they got us. They got us a little bit. Uh, they were a little bit more physical. Uh, was more a little more ready to play than we were that game. Um, I mean, I mean, Coach Sweeney, he kind of been preaching that also, and try, just trying to get us right um, mentally, just for the game, knowing what we're going up against. Um, you know, they got. They, I don't know the offense. Coach Bates keep talking about how good the offense is, is and stuff like that. But I mean. Uh, I mean, you just got to wait to game day and just kind of because the scout team can't give you the, the perfect look, but they can give you kind of look to, you know, simulate whatever they do. So, I mean, you just got to wait to game day and just see how that goes. Are they the best, one of the best offensive lines you've seen the last two years? Um, seen? Uh, uh, I mean, I haven't been up against this group yet, so I don't know. I'll let you know in the next interview. All right, all right. <laughs> Oh, definitely. Yeah, we we don't like getting beat by anybody. Um, we we're very competitive. Uh, we know, like we we the type of guys like the whole group as a unit. We kind of just you know we just had a extra little. Uh, we were sending each other little videos of our workouts over bye week. You know, just trying to stay stay healthy, stay right, and um, so we had to get right during the week. Um, I mean, you can kind of see there's there's a little edge, you know, because we hate when Coach Sweeney coming there saying that somebody kicked our tail or something like that. So we we just trying to keep that off the film. What does it meant to you and Christian having the depth at the defensive tackle? We just saw Jordan a moment ago mm -hmm. back and you know Albert and Niles oh, yeah. those guys. Oh that's great. It, it takes a lot of miles off us but uh it's very promising too because you know we're not gonna be able to play eighty snaps a game each and every game out. And um so it's just kinda of promising to see that how we've been over all, like the old couple of years, how we've been just developing other guys and pulling them along and encouraging them to play well and um, do well. How much pressure does it make you feel? And not only that, but just the fact that you're healthy at least at this point in the season. Oh, yeah, yeah it's great. Um, 
I mean, I'm happy I kind of went through that just to know, just to accept my body more and my legs and, and every just to, just to understand that what I have is special and um, it's kind of great just to see that. Just I mean, just to just to feel awesome, you know. It's it's last year was a little struggle, but um, I mean, there's nothing's holding me back now, so. Um, I mean, just just kind of getting in his face, uh, getting our hands up, trying to deflect passes. Uh, I mean, I mean, yeah, they have they do throw a, little, a lot of quick passes in and out. But I mean, that's the only thing you really can do as a defensive line, and um, just try to start them a little bit. Oh, definitely. Nobody likes – once you end the season, you want the bye week, but then after the bye week, you like, dang, uh, yeah. But it was, feel, it was good feeling like a normal person for a weekend, but at the same time, I wanted to be playing on, on Saturday and, I mean, have that feeling of, you know, the excitement, of the, hearing the crowds, uh, making plays, things like that. That's that's what I miss the most kind of thing. I mean, I mean yeah, come off the bye week. <laughs> Uh, I watch more football than I think I ever have. <laughs> yeah. Um. I mean, you just kind of seeing seeing teams like, you know, not come not quite have the same mindset they did in the beginning of the year, kind of deal. But um, all the games were, were good to me. Uh, not one really in particular. Did you go to the USC game to see your brother? Oh no, I didn't. Uh. -uh. Yeah, um, as a team, we kind of understand that we control our outcomes. Uh, we control how we play, our mindsets, things like that. So um, just knowing that, like Coach Sweeney said the other day, like if we lose, we have to, we'll be at the mercies of another team. So we're not, we're not trying to be at the mercy of another team ever again kind of deal. And um, I feel like that's, that's – just the veterans on this team kind of understand that, you know, because the past seasons we, we've, lo we've lost one in the middle of the season and we hate that feeling. So, uh, I mean, we just trying to keep the same motivation all season, just, you know, just going out and dominate, playing our best.